Uh, let's move on to uh, a really interesting interview. Damon Wayans Jr. is one of the six stars of the fresh comedy Happy Endings. It's on ABC. But when we talked with him, he wanted to talk about old and used items. He's into recycling. I talked to him last week while he was at a recycling event in Los Angeles. Well, uh, we're just kind of here celebrating recycling, you know. It's um, And uh, Bud Light is heading this pretty much. Um, they do this thing called uh, the Bud Light Recycling Zone and where they take this thing right here. Do you see that? I do. Yes. Um, it is a gold post made out of nothing but aluminum cans, 125,000 of them. Wow. Which is pretty dope. And they've <laughs> been taking this thing here around the United States. They've hit like nine different cities and this is the last stop for it and they've been hitting up tailgate parties left and right and challenging people to kind of, you know, kick in the name of recycling. Uh-huh. Makes a lot of sense. Awesome. Makes a lot of yeah. sense. Yeah, I mean, because it keeps it fun, you know, it keeps you, like, kind of thinking about recycling and kind of, you know, reflecting on the work that we have done and the work that needs to be done. Are you a recycler great. in your life? Yes, I am. I am. Um, first of all, my name is Recycled. Damon Wayans uh -huh. Jr. So. Sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> Born recycler. Um, yeah, and you know, I just always, you know, kind of in California, it's kind of mandatory. They have like the blue bins and stuff like that. Um, but um, I've I've loved to recycle, you know, since but, since youth. Well, here's the thing, though. I feel like I I I know I'm not too much older than you are, I, so I can say people of our age. I feel like it's obvious how important <laughs> it is to like you and me. And then I see people our age or even younger like throwing a can out. It makes me crazy. Does it make you crazy? Yeah. It, 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 you know, I feel like it's all a work in progress. I don't, I don't, I try not to like get too upset only because I gotta dance for a second. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Um, no, I just, I just feel like, <laughs> I feel like recycling is growing, you know? I'm proud of, of what people have done. And I think that, you know, as long as we just keep it, keep conscious, stay aware you know, you what we're doing, and try to recycle as much as possible, then we'll be fine. So we know you do funny. Do you do football? Yes. Like, if you had to, I, I don't know if you were able to with all the wires that you're wearing for this interview, but if you had to get up and, like, kick that field goal, could you do it? Can I be real with you? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Are you being real with I me? I would kick the heck out of that ball. <laughs> no, can I, before this came on, when we were talking about that special stuff. Yeah? I kicked that ball something terrible. Really? All the way. Yeah. I, it, I almost went over the little, the little, uh, little cage. Mm-hmm. Like it can't contain it's you. It's awesome. Look at, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so you're saying a, flexible, girl. for the kick, there was a happy ending to your kick. Did you like, like how I did that? <laughs> there was a definite happy endings to my <laughs> kick. So tell us about Got the show. I understand someone very important to your family um, has joined the show, David Allen Greer. How crazy is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to play uh, next episode. He's going to play my boss at the place that I, I am uh, recently employed. Uh-huh. It's, uh, it's, like it's kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese. It's called Chuckles and Hugs. And he is my... Um, He's my weird boss. He's a very <laughs> weird man in the show. If the name <laughs> and I'm sounds really happy that he, that he agreed to do it. If the name sounds familiar to people, of course, you worked with your dad um, on In Living Color. Yes, so, In Living what, Color. Is that cool to like work with a guy who you probably knew as a little kid? Yeah, it's great. It's awesome. Um, it's probably going to be weird for him because he's going to look at me and feel like he's back at In Living Color for a second. <laughs> and be like, oh, wait, no, that's his child. Um, <laughs> But so we used to do stand-up together, me and David. I used to, like, open for him. Really? Was, like, traveling around. Yeah, so you guys just it, was, keep, it was fun. You keep it all in the back. family. You recycle, we got to keep it in the family. You're recycling the relationships. We recycle. We recycle relationships, One for sure. One last question before you See? go. We're good. We're good. Maybe I should open for you. Yeah. Anyway, uh, someone, Mary Berry, coming out next year. Yes. Tell us about it. Um, it is a movie that's about... You know, everybody has that one friend that's like really inappropriate and kind of like just, you know, just says things that they shouldn't say. And that's what our movie is about. The movie is about uh, a group of friends. One of them is like that. And we try to get rid of him because he's ruining every relationship we have, work, marriage, etc. And so we plan to marry this guy off 
And what happens is we, we try to marry him off and he finds this girl that he loves and we're like, yes. And then we find out that she's just like him. So now we've doubled Ooh. the annoyance in our lives. Ooh. Yeah, It's really funny because it kind of like hits close to home, especially for people who know that they have friends like that. <laughs> and you're just, you're just like sitting there going, why would you put that in there? Yeah. Don't. Yeah. I've got two Norma Holland and Evan Dawson, my co-anchors. They're, they're those people. Do you have a, do you have a, weirder, do you oh, have a yeah. weirdo? Oh, yeah. Do you have a, do you have a Barry? <laughs> I do. I, like I said, I got two. <laughs> anyway, our time is almost up. Thank you for your time. I will let you continue stretching so that we can later get on camera that great field goal that you're going to kick. Yeah. <sighs> hey, thanks so much for your well, time. Dude. Good talking to you. <sighs> Good talking to you. <laughs> I, I love that he fell off a chair <sighs> at the end. Um, I don't know who that woman was or what she was saying about you. Yeah, I don't know who she is either. I don't know. I'm She's sure, right, though. I'm sure she meant it, though, <laughs> in a very nice way. Yeah, we are a little wacky, aren't we? <laughs> We're a little wacky up here. I, I, we are strange. Oh. We are a little, we are eccentric. That's but that's what okay. That's makes you fun. Right? Yes. So it makes it fun up here. And she's more wacky than we have <laughs> Again, I'm selling secrets. I got Christmas presents to buy. You want secrets? There you go. Bring some cash. $425. Tell you anything you want to know. There was this one time when she said, Oh, oh well, no, 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 no. There wasn't one time. There was about 150 <laughs> times when she said, Poor Evan, he's not even here to absorb any of this today because he's the grand offender of the ball. But here's what, he? He, here's what he just does, though, when we start talking smack. He just goes like this. Who, Evan? Evan? Yes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's the Evan face. I'm not a, I'm not a skirt of him. Hey, coming up on Rochester CW, 13 Women Entertainment next, including 